and we can never have a meal without these two sitting right at our feet. This is one of the favorite rooms that I have in our entire house. And I don't know if you have one of these or not, but it's a little add-on room next to the kitchen where we can sit down and have our meals. I have certain foods that are more favorite than others, but just about anything tastes good to me. Um, but why I really love this room um, is for what takes place in it. Um, whenever Kathy and I sit down in the morning to have tea and coffee and our breakfast, this is where we do it when we have our lunch and our dinner. It's in this very room when people are over, if there's only a couple of them, we'll have a meal right in here. And um, we have another room where we can have more people over. And in that lies the problem. Uh, these days, we can't get together and have meals, either over at our house or go out to the restaurant like we, we like to do. Uh, I know there's a lot of people enjoy that. Um, and I look forward to being able to do that in the coming days. But, but for right now, Let's think about something else, um, some other fellowship that we can have together um, that's surrounded, uh, surrounding a meal. And as I was looking through some psalms, I, uh, I came across, there's a group of psalms that I just love um, in the late 20s and early 30s, all the way through 37. Uh, they're all good. Um, there's not a bad one among them. But there's a line in Psalm 34, verse 8, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. So as we have uh, a need now to refuge, stay in place, um, we find our refuge in the Lord. And uh, to taste and see that the Lord is good, we know that you have to be awfully close uh, to the Lord in order to um, find out if that's true, to taste and see. And it goes beyond when we celebrate the remembrance of uh, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus in communion. This is an actual daily uh, participation that we can have with him to taste and see that the Lord is good. So in these days, days like no other, we're going to uh, do that very thing. We're going to uh, celebrate God's awesome presence with us um, as we fill ourselves on his word. As soon as we can, let's get back together again, have a little potluck, uh, maybe have a little meal together. Um, anybody that wants to, you're always welcome at our house. We look forward to that with all of our friends and family, and we love you all. Let's pray. Holy Heavenly Lord, as we've had these days to contemplate and rejoice in you like never before, Lord, we pray that we wouldn't uh, get so caught up in fear or anxiety that we'd forget uh, the awesome goodness, the comfort that can be found when we taste and see that you are good. And Lord, we know that there's a lot of good in this world, um, but you're great. Uh, you best everything that we could ever imagine. So Lord, we thank you for being who you are and still loving uh, people like us. So Lord, we thank you for your invitation to come and taste and see that you indeed are good. We love you and praise you and pray that you'd help us love you better now and always in Jesus' name. Amen.